Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to be doing number 24 on the 53 Math MTEL exam. This is the elementary teacher certification exam in Massachusetts for teachers that want to be uh, math school teachers in, in the elementary school level. It's a great problem if you're a teacher, uh, regardless of the state, if you're a teacher preparing for your middle school or high school teacher certification exam because it's going to go over some of those core ideas uh, that you're going to be faced with in your prob in your, on your exams and it's got a lot of math going on so really cool problem. Let's first read it over and uh, look for big ideas. All right, So number 24. A retailer puts out of season clothes on sale for 40% off the regular price. R. Each subsequent week the retailer reduces the sale price by an additional 10%. Which of the following expressions represents the sale price during the third week of the sale? Well, I definitely see the percents here. And I see decimals. So right away, little red flag goes off. You're thinking percents, decimals. You should be thinking part to whole, fractions, decimals, and percents. There's more, though. It gives us unknowns like R, an expression. And those are really clues that you're dealing with an algebra problem. So we can look at this almost as an algebra word problem. Remember, uh, an expression is like 2x. It's got a combination of a constant and a variable, an unknown. If I wanted to make an algebraic equation, I would just do 2x equals 4. And I could solve for the unknown. But right now, left as just 2x or you know x plus 2, whatever, it's just called an expression. And all of these here have a combination of constants and variables, so these are all examples of algebraic expressions. All right, so we've narrowed it down to this is a word problem involving number sense and operations, specifically with uh, fractions, decimals, percents, and an algebra problem. What do I do? Well, we're going to visualize what's going on here. We have a sale of an item. And we're going to imagine this item here. We don't know how much it is. So we're going to give it a value. We're going to say this item, uh, item R, right? Item R here. Let's say it represents $100. And that $100 is equal to 100% of the sales price, the R. So on this given day, I, I'm going to buy this item, like a shirt, a nice, fancy, fancy shirt. But on this first week, I get a nice 40% sale, so I, I, I save 40%, which really means I'm just going to be spending 60% of the price. So whatever R is, I'm only going to be spending 60% of it. Well, if R is $100, I save 40% or $40, which means I only spend 60% of the price or $60. Everyone agree on that? 60% of 100 is $60. So the first week, I'm only spending $60 on that shirt, which is a great deal. This is week one. Well, on week two, that same shirt is reduced again, but this time it's reduced by 10%. Well, ask yourself, we're starting at 60 now, remember? What's 10% of 60? 10% of 60 is $6. So if I save $6, I'm really spending $54. Okay, well what about week three? Now look, I'm setting this up using the visuals as a way to think about partial relationships and it's going to make my multiplication a lot easier and I'll show you that in a moment. But you can follow along and see if this helps. Alright, well I'm in it right now at week three. The original price at week three is 54, but I save my 10%, which means I don't have to pay 10% of 54 or $5.40. I don't want to. I don't want to risk it here. It's very easy to make a mistake at this point. So I'm going to go over here on my my side of my paper, and I'm going to do 54 minus five dollars and four cents. I'm going to add in a zero here. And, and when I do my my calculations out, I want to be super careful because this is where most teachers, you know, and most of us make mistakes. Well, I can't do zero minus four, so I'm going to regroup. Make that a three. Carry the ten. Ten minus four is six. Three, I can't do that. I gotta cross out the five, make it a four, carry the ten. I got thirteen minus five, gets me an eight, drop down the four. 
I get at the end of the last, at the third week of the sale, this shirt is going to be $48.06. That means out of the, uh, that my original, although my original price was $100, i am only spending out of the original price $48.06, or $0.60. Cents. That's like 48 over, uh, 48.6 over 100. That is, as a, as a, as a decimal, that's 0 0.48. Six, or if you want to think about it as a percent, forty-eight point six percent, which happens to actually be the answer. We're spending forty-eight forty-eight point six percent of the original price. So if you think of R as our original price, and we said R was a hundred dollars, right? Out of the original hundred dollar shirt price, we're only spending forty-eight point six percent. Or, you know, $48.60 uh, on it. Whoa! The visuals here help me walk through the math without doing a whole lot of multiplication. If I wanted to do multiplication and get a very direct way, then I would just have to do it this way. R is your starting point. The first week you save 40%, so really you're just trying to find out 60% of R. Or, point, or R times 0 0.6 times, well, the second week you save 10%, so you're really just trying to find out 90% of what's left over. And the third week is another 90% because you're saving that 10%. If you do zero, uh, 0 0.6, well, you know what? Let's just do 6 times uh, 9 times 9. All right? 6 times 9 times 9 gets you 486. However, we had one, two, three decimals that we had to account for. One, two, three. Slap it on. We're trying to find out this times our original price. Either way, you get back to the B. Okay, I really like this problem, team. I think you should study it because I know you're, you're sitting there and you're like, I've seen this problem in many shapes and forms many times before. That's true. It's a very common type of problem. And you can use these two different ways to get to an answer very quickly. All right. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day. Take care, team. Bye-bye. Hi, team. This is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall, we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care.